Hello traders, FS Pipcoletti here. Today is Tuesday, June 25th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Yo Yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Yo Yen, I mean, we are definitely still in an uptrend. It is extremely clear that this is a 1 2, and we're most likely in a wave 3. My DAX area of resistance for this wave 3 is the 78.6 Fibonacci extension, which is still quite a ways up there, all the way up to about the 170 for area. So heading down to the weekly time frame, like I said, it is extremely clear that we're still in a wave three. I definitely still don't see any evidence that the wave three is over, and I still think that the next area we need to pay attention to is the 78.6, which means that we definitely should still primarily be looking for longs on sort of time frames. Going down to the daily time frame, daily time frame, we had another perfect little one, two, three pattern. And that's exactly what I've been looking for for basically months and years now on the yen pair. Is one, two, three waves down, one, two, three waves down, one, two, three waves down, one, two, three waves down to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. I, like I said, I think my next area of resistance is right around the 174 area, so I definitely do not see any reason to think that we should be doing anything but looking for longs on sort of time frames. Heading down to the 4 hour time frame, I mean, based on our higher roadmap time frames, we're definitely looking for longs. I would be paying attention to my FIB levels. You know, maybe we are in a pullback right now, and if we are, this is probably going to go down to the 23, maybe the 38 before we actually continue the uptrend. But for me, definitely, definitely, only strategy for me is looking for longs at the end of pullbacks on every single yen pair. Going down to the one hour time frame, we already got one push down, could already have the A, we already got one push up, may already be the way B. It could literally only go down to the 23.6, so keep an eye, we do technically have three ways down. If it does make an impulsive move up, it may just keep on trending up from here. Now on the other hand, I wouldn't be surprised if it did try to make a bigger pullback, you know, maybe down to the 38.6. Whether it decides to make a small pullback or a big pullback, I don't really care. All I really know is that every single pullback I see, I will definitely be going long. When I see a Fibonacci bounce, when I see a break of structure, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing, is going long, just like I have been doing at the end of every single pullback I see for the continuation of this big uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live Zoom meetings. As always, thank you and happy trading.